Right, hello and welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be taking a little break from the landscape series that I've been working on uh, and do a quick video on light maps and light map UVs and packing and, and all that good stuff. So um, firstly, what are we talking about when we talk about light maps? Well, we have with an object um, a UV and wrap such as this one. Um, so the different parts of the material have all been unwrapped um, flattened out into a 2D space so we can apply textures to it and if we open up the material uh, we can see in the textures let's see the normal map is a good one um, all the normal map information obviously aligns with the UVs um, so that the two things are working together and it's how we apply our textures to our models um, same here you can see all of these different layouts this is just some different masks packed together uh, and things so what is a light map? Well a light map does basically the exact same thing um, but for lighting information. So if we're using baked lighting uh, which is the default, um, if you've got any lights in your scene either set to static or stationary um, they will be doing baked lighting, full movable lights don't bake um, and yeah so what happens is the light gets calculated by light mass when we click build this might break the recording hopefully it's quite simple scenes there shouldn't be too much of a build time on this um, and it will just go through, build that and now all of our lights uh, and light mass is really great because it calculates things like bounce uh, obviously light doesn't just hit the ground and stop, it bounces off and you get this kind of bounce light effect um, and different things and nice crisp shadows so baked lighting, calculated um, but then the way that lighting is applied is to uh, light map UVs so if we go to our world settings uh, one second I find in here, I believe. I should have checked where these were first. There we are, light maps. So this scene has eight light maps. You can see here they have been saved, these have been calculated. I mean, they don't mean much sense to us. Um, obviously, you wouldn't want to paint these manually, um, but these have been calculated by the engine and then applied. Um, and compressed in various ways and you can see here there you can see the uh, the light map that it's being using um, for these chairs so you can see the same UV layout um, so so in this case in actual fact if we open up the model editor for these again um, it doesn't have uh, any light map UVs so it's just using the the UVs there um, I guess as a fallback not quite sure um, that must be that's what it appears to be so um, what generally happens with a model in Unreal is you have your generate light map UVs option. So I, this is usually ticked by default. Um, and if we click apply, what it does is it takes the unwrap that we've got in UV channel 0. So this is generally our texturing unwrap. Uh, and it then reallocates it or, or sort of rearranges it into uh, a light map UV. And there's a bunch of reasons why it could do this uh, or how it does this. Um, one of the things we have to worry about with light baking is we don't want our. Um, are different islands to have any bleed across them. So if this part of the chair is completely in shadow and this one's completely in light, obviously we need to have a balance uh, or enough distance between those islands um, to stop any bleed happening. We don't want the light bits to look dark or vice versa. Um, and so generally our light map resolutions here this is set to have a light map resolution of 64 by 64 pixels. That's a lot smaller than say the texture of the normal map. So if we open that up again that was the object where it's the material so this normal map texture here this is a 2k that's probably a bit big for the amount of detail that's in it but you can see that a 64 resolution light map everything's going to have a light map it's going to be quite expensive um, we can't use any um, texture reuse in the same way that we can use a tiling texture we can use a tiling brick everywhere but every pixel needs a unique unwrap or unique light bake um, to get good lighting information so our light map resolutions tend to be a lot smaller so what Unreal will do when it's doing this packing is it'll work out the minimum light wrap resolution you're ever going to use. Um, in this case, it's they're both set to 64, and it'll do the packing based on that resolution. So if I lower this down to 32 and apply changes, you can see the actual islands themselves are getting smaller and the gaps between them are getting bigger. If I do 16, because if you can imagine this this UV island, if this was reduced down to 16 by 16 pixels. I mean a 16 by 16 grid, um, 
you're going to need quite a lot of gap between them so if one pixel is completely black and one pixel is completely white you don't want any bleed happening and you can see this is really inefficient use of space um, so partly your light map resolution is probably way too small um, to have uh, a, a good result um, but your your minimum light map resolution here this is what kind of um, controls the padding and controls the the breakdown so um, this chair is actually it's quite an interesting object because it's quite inefficient uh, obviously from the way it's been unwrapped for texturing um, that could be fine but if we think about how it's generating this light map unwrap yeah there's a couple of objects that are able to sort of uh, intersect and fit together um, but you definitely have these big loops now that loop here um, could be unwrapped in a completely different way if these were kind of split they would be a much better shape to unwrap um, and there's actually quite a lot of um, thought that might go into these so ideally we'd all have loads of time and we could make land manual light maps uh, rather than using the automatic generation um, and something like this it might be worth spending that time because you're going to get a much more efficient uh, light map UV um, where you could say kind of sew all these edges together um, but also it's something to bear in mind when we're doing our texturing or doing our unwrap for our texturing so the the way this automatic generation thing works um, is it takes what you already have and then replicates it so um, trying to minimize your number of islands as much as possible uh, not only is it more performance because every time you have a split in your islands it has to create extra geometry so there's actually two different verts this vert here and the corresponding vert the other side wherever that is are split and separated so the more splits you have the more geometry you're actually having the higher vertices um, but also the more inefficient your um, your packing will be with your light map resolution so looking uh, here let me say um, minimum light map resolution controls the the packing if we push that up to 512 we're getting still quite a lot of wasted space and that's because of this um, inefficiency if we just try the um, table for example see if this this does have some light map UVs so again it's quite a few shapes here that maybe a little bit inefficient could have been um, unwrapped in a better way in terms of the the light map and again if we go this up to 512 it's not generating turn on generate here we can have much more efficient use of space you can see how things are sort of tessellating into each other automatically um, but you don't want to use a high resolution so if this was now set to unwrap at 512 and then only apply it a 128 we'd get light bleed because this pixel here could be very very dark this pixel here could be very light obviously it does depend on your lighting conditions um, but this, these two islands are now too close together based on the light map resolution that we're t using compared to what we've calculated um, so actually this would be better spread like this and that's that's not too bad it's not too much wasted space but again if these sort of sides of the of the legs were unwrapped um, all as one you'd get a, a much better sort of efficient use of space um, popping over to the documentation I just want to go through some of the examples they've got here because um, actually they're quite quite good so they're talking about the same thing generating light map UVs um, oh I should say um, the way it takes the the different source and destination so here it's looking at UV input 0 and taking it and putting it into UV uh, destination index 1 so obviously a model can have as many UVs uh, channels as you like um, I think uh, definitely have more than one at least or more than two um, if you've imported a model that has two UV channels it'll just take in 0 and plug that into 2 um, so you want to make sure that this sort of is taking the right source information and putting it into the right destination information so um, yeah so looking here in the um, documentation you can see here this has uh, been unwrapped in this face individually all the same all the way around um, but actually when we do a light map uh, unwrap for it obviously they need to be unique so we can come here and say it's it's taking those four things and spreading them out um, individually pieces like uh, these sort of windowsill and, and the window reveals in your texture they probably want to be um, unwrapped in a certain way but if you're making a, a, a sort of a custom uh, light map UV for this you don't need these necessarily to be separate pieces you could just have them all sort of stitched in um, you get some stretching but obviously your light map stretching isn't going to be as noticeable as texture stretching um, and you might find that you've got everything 
um, a better resolution overall because you're not using this wasted space and, and that's what this example talks about here so here we have um, the same side unwrap here and they've all been stitched together and then unfolded and you get kind of something that would look quite stretchy if you were trying to apply a texture to it but for a light map maybe not such a, a big issue and they've just separated out that top face so um, here there should be another plate face on top but having it as a separate piece when they do the automatic bake you get padding between them because Unreal doesn't understand that the different islands are different islands it has to assume that they're all separate pieces um, and so all this bit here this number two section that they've um, Is that right? Wasted UV padding around the edge. This is UV padding. So it's saying that is wasted UV padding. I think that's wrong. I think that's incorrect. Um, this padding here is unnecessary because if this was just stitched in here, it would just pad it as one island in the centre and you wouldn't have to have these. So if this was stitched together properly, um, I guess it's it's talking about it in terms of it's necessary for the way the algorithm works because it's have to create some gap between that but actually it's unnecessary because if we had a better um, packing uh, unwrap in the first place if this was actually stitched into to this top section here this would be part of the same islands and it wouldn't need to separate um, and so you would have this wasted space in the middle um, it mentions here there's uh, wasted around the outside light mass will give you padding automatically when it does it so uh, you don't need to have padding at the edges because the, the the packing algorithm um, to atlas these together um, it will do it automatically so talking here again uh, this has been unwrapped in one way to have uh, open gaps um, you could sew that all together sew it in unwrap it and you'll get a much more efficient light map padding uh, if everything's Reduced down to even some quite kind of like what would look like quite badly stretched um, UVs in a, um, in a normal texture unwrap, um, but for a light map, um, you can get away with with a better thing with, with a, a better unwrap with a bit more bit less stretching. Um, so um, talking here again, the more complex the shape is, the more difficult it's going to be to to unwrap it nicely. Um, Ideally, we've got time, we're going to go in and make these manually, um, but obviously using the unwrap tool um, as exists uh, saves us a lot of time and it might be a good enough result um, for these. Um, objects which are difficult here, lots of small pieces, um, and you can see the amount of padding that this is going to have to create. It's the, a big enough shape that you're going to need a big resolution light map, um, and the amount of padding obviously is dependent on the light map resolution so it's definitely worth having a, a pass going through your models making sure that the light map resolutions are set correctly um, and mostly that you're not just using a large light map on a um, poorly unwrapped object we can brute force this uh, we can obviously just put more and more resources at it put in a really big light map it's going to look right but it might be that our light map resolution or our packing resolution uh, in our UV unwrap is, is the problem um, and then another couple of sort of examples uh, here. So, a um, couple of notes with light maps: um, they have to be uniquely unwrapped. So this will happen with the auto generation tool. It will do this for us. But if you are making your own, you need to make sure that either um, the it's a bit further down. Excuse me. Uh, where's the other thing here? Either uh, shells aren't overlapping because um, it won't know how to bake that pixel. Um, because obviously it's got two different reference points and the same when it doesn't go outside of the 0 to 1 bounds because this is now tiling over here and that's then overlapping again so if you are making your own light map UVs make sure they're in the 0 to 1 square and there's no overlap which is relatively easy to do with sort of the um, layout tools in, in sort of Maya and Max and things so um, lastly the light map density view mode. So there is a nice tool in Unreal for checking things. So if we go in here to uh, optimization view maps and light map density. Now what this is giving us is a uh, representation of the light map um, applied to the object, um, but it isn't taking into account the, uh, the the unwrap itself. So here we have uh, it's in this one. Light map. So this is all over is a light map of five uh, 128. If I change it to two five six, you can see the density of those squares has changed. Um, and this is then 
a comparison. The, the color coding is a comparison between the resolution of the squares um, and sort of world space. So if I take the same object and make it huge, now it's gone blue, blue being too low. Um, if I make it really small, it's going to be going sort of more red, red being too high. Um, but it's not taking into account the sort of uh, the coverage of the actual light map UVs themselves. So a, an object that has the right color in the visualization tool could easily have the wrong settings uh, um, overall because it has a really inefficient unwrap. Um, lastly, your settings may vary. You may not want to have, so this is set up for a certain level of light map density. Um, if you're, you're applying larger light maps to that, you've got here um, light map density rendering options. So you can change the settings in here and that's going to change what the, um, the the color scales are for your scene. So um, it's not doing any uh, really great scale. There we are. Uh, it's not doing anything to change any of the things, it's just changing the bounds of what's good and what's bad. So it's changing the kind of the red and green levels in that um, that color kind of um, chart color color value um, and we can see here so blue less than ideal density red greater than density greens sort of good density um, but obviously we can change those values depending on our project um, yeah so um, lots to think about it is something that is a time-consuming job unfortunately um, one of the things that sort of often falls back to a uh, lighting artist but um, if you're modeling something it is a good idea to, to sort of really think about the light map UVs. Um, something like this chair, um, it does have uh, quite a lot of sort of unique shapes in its unwrap. Um, each of these could quite easily have been straightened out, um, and then that was going to spread out things a lot more. And the the light map UVs and the sort of the, the texturing UVs in zero and the light map UVs in one, they can be very different. Um, obviously, they're just applying the right texture to the right thing. So what you need for one doesn't necessarily correspond to, to the other. So just something to, to bear in mind and think about um, when you're working with light maps uh, and baked lighting. So um, hope that was interesting and informative. Um, as always, any questions, comments, etc., let me know. Um, I do have a Patreon, so if you'd like to support the channel uh, and everything I'm doing here, that would be great. Um, and I will see you all next time with some more landscapes. Um, right.